Fine House, what up? So today we're going to be looking at how to create an assembly from parts when you don't have an assembly, but you want an assembly. And I'm going to try and keep this quick. Now, if, you've, if you're new to the channel, you might just think I'm waffling, you haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. If you're not new to the channel, just be warned that some of my videos are going to be quicker in the future. Just some of them, not all of them. I'm not going to, I'm not going to skimp, but some of them are going to be quicker because I was looking at my analytics, which is the Google stats on my YouTube page. And apparently the internet has got an attention span of literally four minutes. That's like as much video as people can cope with before they have, before they're impulsed to shut everything down and walk away. Yeah, I can create 20 minutes of absolute magic, but four minutes later, they'll just be gone. So you kind of wonder if it's, but you know, if, if there's a topic that I need to do, which is in depth, I'll still do long videos, but I'm gonna try and do some short ones like this one. And I'm not really doing that any favors by waffling, get to the point, Neil, okay. So, what this is, this is one of the inventor sample files. It's the guitar tuner. Uh, you can get the sample files if you haven't got them just by going to the Get Started tab, click that. That opens up a web page where you can download the sample files from. So this is a guitar tuner. It's that little thing that sits at the end of the guitar head and you turn the little thing and the string goes through there and it tightens the string. It's one of them things, which it took me ages. I was, I've was i been working on this for years and it only just occurred to me the other day that it, it's, it's actually a guitar tuner. <laughs> oh, of course it is. So... This has been modeled in a way that I would imagine a lot of people model stuff because you kind of start with an idea, you put some parts in, you design some more parts, and then before you know it, you've got an assembly with just a pack of parts. And then you think to yourself, dang, I should probably put these in an assembly, shouldn't I really? Um, because with inventing, you've not only got to get over the, the learning curve of all the different buttons and what they do and what you can do and what you can't do, but you've also got the design approach to think about. So the design approach with an assembly is like I guess, does this particular item come in a pack of parts? Do I buy each? So, for example, this guitar tuner, right? That's the top level assembly. If I was to make this, if I was to physically make and put all the pieces together, would I buy each one of these separately? Or, say, for example, this button here, does that button, the little grip and that little pin, that little screw, do they come in a package? Do they come in a plastic bag together? If so, then they're an assembly. So that's kind of one way to think about it. You can also create assemblies which are just there for the sake of it, but that's kind of the way you think about assemblies in a very basic sense. So once you've created this assembly and you've put all the parts in, and then you think to yourself, I should have made some assemblies. You, you, you don't have to start again with anything. What you can do is a, a command called demote. And demote is quite good, actually. It's, it used to be rubbish. It used to break and smash constraints to pieces, but they fixed that quite a while ago now. And it works quite well. So what you do to demote something, and demote is a strange word. It's a strange terminology. It's kind of a bit mind-boggling because you think, well, I'm making an assembly, so surely I'm promoting the parts into an assembly. But, 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 never mind. It, it is what it is. So what you do is you select the parts that you want to put into an assembly. So you can select them just by shift, you know, shift and clicking, or you can put a window around them if there's parts underneath. So I'm going to put these three parts into their own assembly. What you then do is right click on them, and then you go to component demote. That'll bring up this little dialog box here called create an in-place components. This is going to make a new assembly. So we can call this the, I don't know, the tuner handle, something like that. And then the, the, the location, it's going to actually make an IAM file. It's going to make an assembly file to put these parts in. So you've got to tell it where to save it. The bomb structure, it, it doesn't matter really for, for the sample files. But in the real world, if you are going to buy this, you'd put it as purchased. Um, or, yeah, it, it depends how you buy it. It depends really. But I'm going to do a separate video on the bomb structures. I don't want to go into too much detail with it because it's a massive topic. Even though there's only five of them, it's a massive topic. So I'm going to do something separate for these. So set it to purchase, which means you buy it and then click OK. You get this generic. Don't worry about this. This is generic. This just means the con the constraints are going to move with the parts when you put them into an assembly. You get this. You could have the perfect assembly, but it's still going to give this message. Click OK. Yeah, click Yes. And then there you go. You've got your tuner handle now with the three parts in. One, two, three. Magic. What then you can do, if you want to, if you think, oh man, I forgot this little thing here. This little thrust washer, that comes with the assembly. Oh man, have I got to do it? No, you don't have to do it again. Another really neat little thing that you can do is drag. Just hold the left mouse button down on parts and you can then move them into the subassembly. You'll get the same little message pop up and just click yes. 
and then it puts that into the assembly so now that is all one assembly which you can then sort of hide and turn back on and stuff and you can do it the other way around as well if you think well actually this that washer doesn't need to be in the assembly you can hold the left mouse button and then pull it out and then it's going to say oh by the way things are going to move the other way okay i don't care and then that's it so yeah that's component demote really quite handy uh, you can do if you know. Although you can drag, I, I, I don't need to tell you this, but for the, in the interests of just being the tutorial channel, I suppose I better. You don't, you know, if you don't want to just drag stuff out, you can right-click component promote. Promote will promote the part out of the assembly and then into the higher level, which is just pretty much the same as dragging it up. All right then, that's probably not under five minutes. I have no idea. I'm going to clock, but it might be. I don't know. Sauce to all you people with a low concentration span. I'm trying to cater to your needs, I guess. But thank you very much. Uh, like, you press the subscribe button, put a comment down below, listen to the funky music, and bye. Bye.